can you tell what I'm thinking about right now? And what about now? And what about now? Understanding eye gaze is a key aspect of social communication. It gives us a really big clue about what people are paying attention to and what they're thinking about. You've probably been in that situation where you're talking with someone and they're not looking at you. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. And you say, are you even listening to me right now? Frustrating and familiar. But the silver lining of this common situation is that it means you're a great social communicator because you understand that where someone is looking is usually what they are paying attention to. And that's a really important aspect of social communication. Developing social communication and understanding is something that some children need help with. And helping them to develop an awareness of eye gaze and its significance is a really great place to start. What we're basically telling them is where I am looking gives you a really useful clue to what I am thinking about. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you a really simple and fun activity to introduce the idea of eye gaze and its significance for social communication. And for this, we need a box of things. Hmm. So here we have that box. I'm going to pick out a couple of things. Just two to begin with. And we're going to talk about how I can point to things with my eyes. So, can you see what I'm pointing to? Indeed, it's the panda. Can you see what I'm pointing to now? And I would make sure with the child that I was sitting opposite them so that they could see my face and they could see what I'm doing with my eyes. And we can start with just a couple. If this is quite difficult, then I'll make them really far apart because that makes it a little bit easier to be really obvious about where I'm pointing with my eyes. And then we can introduce some more objects to make it a bit more complicated. So I might add something extra. Now, now you have to be more accurate at noticing where my eyes are pointing. And this can be a really fun challenge. And in a small group, sometimes we'll take turns pointing to things with our eyes and just introducing that idea of eye pointing. So then we can talk about how pointing with our eyes gives us a clue about what someone is thinking about. I'm looking at the horse, I'm thinking about the horse. Then later on, once we've finished with our box of objects activity, we might start talking about what kind of guesswork, how we can infer information from where someone is looking. So I'm looking at my watch, I'm thinking about my watch. Really, I'm thinking about what time it is. Oh, it's getting a bit late. So there you go, a simple activity to get started introducing the significance of eye gaze for social communication. I encourage you to have a go at home. Gather together a few objects, maybe some favourite things around the house, you might even like to collect them with your child, and sit down and have a play around. I would like to thank Michelle Garcia Winner and her social thinking approach for first introducing this idea to me. And if you'd like to find out a little bit more about social thinking, then I'll pop my blog post about the subject just below for you to check out. If you liked this video and you'd be interested in finding out more ideas about building early social communication and understanding, then do please give it a thumbs up, maybe hit the subscribe button while you're there, and I'll see you soon.